Hi, my name is Sam Dhaneshekaran and welcome to this Database Lessons video series. In this lesson, we will talk about what is an Oracle instance. What is an Oracle instance? Let me explain this by giving you an example first. Okay, let's just say I want to run Notepad. So what I do? I find that Notepad icon and then I click that. So, start menu, Notepad. So what happened? It opened a notepad process which is an empty notepad process I can call in the memory, right? Did it open a file? No, right? Right now this is just an empty memory instance of notepad. When I say memory, right now this is running in the RAM of the PC right so again I click the notepad icon and then it opens the notepad window but it did not open any file okay so this I would rather call it as an instance of notepad running on the memory okay for example if I want to open a file right I would click file open and open the file so what happened when I clicked open a file and then I when I chose the file it read the file from the disk and then put that into the notepad instance which was already running on the memory All right so again let me redo that I'm exiting and then clicking notepad okay so this is right now basically an empty instance of notepad okay so now I'm gonna paste something which I already uh, copied into the clipboard okay so what happened so I clicked that notepad icon on my PC so w what did that do it opened a process in the memory for notepad that's it did it open a file no it did not open a file because I did not tell it to open a file so this is just an empty memory process running in the RAM of the computer so let me just call this as an instance so we have an instance of notepad running right so Oracle also functions in the same way during the startup it starts up an instance first right it just you know when during the startup the binaries kind of like the exe files gets executed and then they open bunch of memory processes which would reside which would go and occupy uh, the memory of the server or the RAM of the server right so that's the first step right the configuration of those memory processes are determined by the parameter file those who had seen the previous video would have known what is a what is a parameter file so basically when you start Oracle it reads the parameter file which tells what amount of memory needs to be used by those process it not only tells that but then some other information right now I'm trying to keep it simple so this is an instance basically when you start Oracle it runs some bunch of processes in the memory like I explained uh, in this instance of notepad that is called as an Oracle instance. Thank you.